Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to sort out your scapular movement in a push-up. Now we're gonna do it from knees versus feet, but it's designed to show you what you're supposed to be doing with retraction and protraction when you go down and back in a push-up, as well as what you're gonna be doing with your elbows or the sort of arm position, your humerus position in that push-up as well to help your scapular mechanics. So let's break this down into some components first. Now, obviously when you do a push-up, it's one smooth movement. So don't get me wrong, when you see this and you see a sort of split movement where you're going shoulder blades in arms, that's designed to help you get the motions right. Then you've got to tie it all together. So watch at the end of the video when I show you that when I tie it all together. But let's start off just with the components. And I suggest what you do is start off on your knees so you take the load off so you can spend more time on it and it's not so fatiguing, right? So when you start off with your push-up, start off in full point kneeling like that. So hands go directly under. Then what I would do to get your position is I'd go forward one and about half a hand, all right? So you think, okay, one and a half a hand, so there's one and a half a hand. Then you go one hand a little bit wider. So just on, say, the side of that, what you do then is then lean forward and bring yourself over your shoulders. So what you're trying to do is start off with your shoulders mostly just about over your hands. Now, sometimes it's hard with people with wrist pain and stiffness. You might have to go on fists when you do that or you use one of those wire bells or a kettlebell. But for those of you who can use hands like this, then this will be fine. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you commit your hips forward. So don't start here and trying to push up like this okay there's no point doing that leaving your bum in there you keep forward and start in that position and the first thing you're going to do is think before I even think about bending my arms i want you retracting your shoulder blades that's the most important part so therefore you shouldn't be sort of sunk into retraction to start with you actually need to be in protraction first so you've got to start off pushing your body away so think about pushing your hands forward down into the ground, your body away. Then what you do is you're trying to get, for this component part, as much slow retraction here. You can see my shoulder blades are going from protraction. If you look at my back, they're coming together. I'm lowering my body towards the floor. I'm trying to keep my elbows straight with my triceps and dropping as far as I can to pull them into there. Okay, so that's the first component. You might need to actually do it a few times like a scapular push-up. Okay, or escape the pressure, I should say. Is this okay? Can I drop down and if anything, maybe pull them together to get that full retraction? Okay, so you think about okay, I'm going to actually use my rhomboids to pull myself down into a push up. Now, naturally, you won't be doing that, you just let gravity do it. But if you're very stiff in your shoulder blades where you just really can't retract, you feel like, why am I not getting them back? Why are they not coming together? Pull them back and try and remind yourself of what the full movement is without overdoing it, all right? So that first start part is retraction all the way to there, okay? Once you've got that, then you're gonna bend your elbows. Now, make sure your elbows are going, and for shoulders sake, don't have them close like a tricep, we're not doing tricep push-ups. Don't go so wide like that because it's in a mechanical disadvantage for your shoulders. I would try and keep your, when you drop down, what should happen if your hands are the right width apart, you should naturally have like a 45 degree angle of that humerus down there, okay? So if you're from here, when I go into retraction first, when I drop down, those elbows are going out on an angle, do you see that? Okay, my hips are coming down, I'm going down as low as I can go, and then when I push away, I straighten my elbows first. So you gotta think, Retraction was the first part. The second part was bend your elbows, lower yourself down and make sure, like I said, you know, retraction, you're not leaving your, your, your bum there. You've got to lower your whole body down the plank, okay, as I go, so I'm even all the way, and then push all the way back. When you get your elbows straight again, then you finish it off with protraction, okay, just like you started. So I went into retraction, elbow flexion, straight my elbows, and everyone forgets this, protract again. When you protract again, don't round your back. So if I go retraction, elbows down, back, straighten the elbows. Here, I want to do that movement. I don't want to do that movement. 
okay? So don't make the mistake of sort of rounding your back at the top to try and get your protraction. You've got to keep level and just work on that part, all right? So retraction, elbow flexion, elbow extension, protraction. So make sure you try and do it in those components. It'll also help you with any of that scapular wing or serratus anterior strengthening that you've lost because you're now incorporating stratus anterior work into your push-up, which is really important. Get the components done first. Obviously, when you get good at that, you don't wanna keep doing push-ups like that where it's sort of segmental, okay? I want you doing it even. So what's gonna happen is, your scapular retraction blends into your elbow work. It's become sort of one, okay? Obviously, you still start off with scapular retraction, and then you go into elbow flexion, but it comes the elbow flexion comes in earlier. So before, what were you doing with the components was all the way down before you bent your elbows. Now what I want you to do is start bending your elbows, sort of not at start, but retract first, but as you start retracting halfway, then you can start bending your elbows. You just gotta make sure when you bend your elbows, you keep retracting. So by the time you get to the bottom, you're fully retracted, and then the reverse happens. When you push away, you're trying to protract as you go away. So when you get the elbows to the top, you are fully protracted. So think of the opposite. When you came down, so think of, this is the best way to explain it. When you go that way and there, you are now going retraction and elbows, and so by the time you get to there, you're fully retracted. When you push away, you try and think, I've got to protract, 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 protract. So when you get your elbow straight, you are fully protracted, okay? Because a lot of people forget that last protraction part and then they end up by the sort of 10th rep or so, and sometimes this is due to load, they stay in retraction, okay? So they go, they might start off here and go, oh, I'm protracted, right? And they end up going to retraction and then they just stay in retraction, okay? So you can see that, they just stay in retraction like that. And they just do start doing push-ups like this, being in that position, okay? And just doing that work, which is very similar to a bench press. Now, we want to activate our serratus, so you're not gonna get any serratus work done if you do that, all right? You've gotta go into protraction. Just make sure it happens from this bottom and you push through, and you'll probably end up with a stronger push-up. It is harder, yes, but it's way better for your shoulders and way better overall sort of strength in that push-up. So, see if you can work on that. Start off with your components, then work through getting the movement pattern all smooth in one go, then, go onto your feet, okay? So do this all on your knees, get it perfect, get your shoulder happy, get all that movement right, get your core position right with your back, and then find, you know, when you put the load on, can you maintain all those great movement patterns? Hope that helps, see you next time.